Well, hey everybody. I went out. Brian came. He was just here for just a little bit, looking for you know one of them guys that was supposed to come and rent equipment that didn't come. But I got him to launch me, and I went out, had a real good time. The wind uh, is still blowing good, but I'm letting my kite dry. I'm letting my equipment dry, and uh, yeah, I had a good time. I just wish I had video, but um, there's a lady named Brooke. When she comes, she'll be here April the 16th. I'm pretty sure I can get her or her friend to videotape me. We'll see. But uh, Brooke was here last year about this same time or a little earlier. So I'm really hoping the wind to be good for her 17th, 18th, 19th, leading up right to the 20th. But that'll be fun to have somebody to kiteboard with I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to get some real good video of her or anybody else that shows up I, that, I, there was a Russian wanting to rent some equipment yeah I can make almost anybody look good with this camera I can zoom way in and just have it looking good but all right got me a chair I don't know how long I'll keep it, but um, ah, let me sit down. Man, that wore me out. <laughs> I mean, I was bunny hopping, jumping and flopping over the dang um, waves and they chops. And sometimes they're close together. You think you're going to jump one, but you dive into the next one, you know, nose first. So I've been working on keeping the heel down on the heel the weight on my back foot before I'm trying to set and uh, it keeps my nose up out of the water and I'm edging too so I'm slicing if I do it just right it feels so good like butter going through a, a water you know it's like butter knife it's just I don't know all I know is the more I get to kite in this big wave stuff and um, these chops the better it'll be for anywhere I go because if you can kite, uh, if you can kite Burwood Beach, and it's so user friendly, you just you'll love it. You got to come here if you're if you're trying to learn transitions or trying to learn to jump or whatever. Even if you're advanced level, you can go out and catch some waves, use them to launch you. And I got videotape of Brian just doing that. I mean, he's going high, 20 feet. Ain't nothing for him to go back when he was really in good shape. Uh, 20, maybe even 25 feet. There's no way to really measure, but one of the biggest ones, uh, I might put a link in the description box for that and um, let you be able to see it. It had like an elevator effect. All right, he's up, he's in the air, and then all of a sudden, he just got this weird looking face and look on his face and he goes up like another 10 feet and he's going downwind a huge amount downwind now he ain't kite looping he's just timing it perfect and if you time it perfect from what i can see you get an elevator effect and it's it always uh puts a smile on people's faces i i would love to be able to jump that high and jump like that but i, I right now I'm happy just to bunny hop these waves. I'm happy to pick one of them that's just perfect and launch off of it and just maybe at the most get five feet. But um, I, landing in control is a lot of it, you know work I'm doing. I'm working on that not to wash out, you know, let the uh, the wake of the board just would send me too much speed and start you know coming out from under my feet. But it's all about control. Well, I'm not going to keep talking. I had a great day at Burwood Beach. Uh, good kite day. i got to put all this stuff up. And that's the thing about it is you don't want to pack. You know, and got clouds moving in. So I want to go ahead and um, invite you to Burwood Beach if you're a kite boarder. I won't be here only except... January, February, March, and April of most years. Uh, 
can't guarantee you, but if you want to do something next year, book some kite, kiteboard trips, yoga on the beach. If you know kiters and you want to have a big time, come to a place like this. Uh, you can call me and I can hook you up with uh, Airbnb. Uh, La Crista, Crista is the place I'm staying at. And plan it for like next year. But July is good here. July, the month before July and the month after July. So you got three months and it's kicking. And that's how I've heard that. I've never been here in the month of July. Never even seen anybody make videos from Burwood Beach in the month of July. But I know that uh, uh, Santino and uh, Andrew always talked about July being good. They lived here, they were Jamaicans, and they two of the best kiteboarders in all of Jamaica. But neither one of them are here right now, so. All right, I'm gonna cut it off. Y'all get, uh, I, I reached and grabbed it because I gotta adjust it. I know y'all going. Why does he have to do that every time? And he ain't gonna cut it out. No, I ain't gonna cut that. I ain't, I ain't editing YouTube. I'm not editing these videos. Give me a break. Share my shit. Let it get out there. I, I, want, I, want, uh, I want one of my kiteboard videos to go viral. Just one. I got other videos that go viral and get me in trouble. <laughs> but I ain't, got, I ain't got one kiteboard video that goes viral. Maybe we can work on that, guys. Uh, if you're a kiteboarder and you know um, my arm is shaking all of a sudden. If, um, if you're a kiteboarder and you know um, Facebook pages, you know, that are groups and uh, fight, uh, kiteboard fan pages and stuff like that, would you please share my kiteboard videos? I know you ain't, I ain't got a bit of video of me kiting today, but that's... that's I can insert it, but I'm not going to do that because that's editing. I can leave a link in the box with me ripping up the uh, Burwood Beach real good. And Barrick School also. All right, enough said. I'm going to go. All right, y'all have a good one.